Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve. So on this video, I'm going to give you six reasons. I'm going to burst your bubble. I'm going to give you six reasons why you'll never bench press 315. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas, I turn into videos just like this. All right, congratulations to Mr. Alpha Destiny on hitting 405. That's a huge step. And how many guys at his body weight will ever come close to that. So well done. All right. So yesterday we had a strength standards video. And we set the standard of 315 on bench as one of the lifts you want to focus on for maximum amount of natural muscle mass. And someone said to me, you set a standard of 315 on bench, but you previously made a video that said most guys will never get to 315, so what's up? Well, I mean, let's use some logic here. Yes, most guys will never get to 315, but, Mr. Logic, most guys will never build the muscle mass they want. That's part of the problem. So, with that said, here are six reasons you'll never get to a 315-pound bench press. I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm trying to help you guys turn things around so you can. All right, number one, I got my handy-dandy little notebook here, right? Number one, you're inconsistent. The guys that have the big benches are consistent for a long period of time. There's no way around this. What do I mean by consistent? Probably a lot more strict than you would expect. They don't miss the gym for long periods of time. They're not missing two weeks here, three weeks there, a month there, two weeks, uh, two months there. They're generally grinding it out for a long period of time, generally five plus years, if not more, without a lot of fuck around itis. You know, if they're sick, yeah, they'll miss a session. If they go on vacation, they might miss a session. But they're in it grinding it out consistently. They're super dedicated and they don't miss a lot of time away from the gym. If you're somebody that's taken two weeks here, two months there, every fucking year, you'll there's no way you can expect to get to 315 unless you're a genetic freak. All right, number two, your general strength sucks. And this applies to about every average gym lifter at Planet whatever and LA whatever, right? You go in there and you see a bunch of guys doing the same old shit they've been doing for decades, just fucking off. <laughs> no hope at all. Like when's the last time you walked in there and saw some guy with the heaviest dumbbell going to fucking hell and back on row volume, right? When's the last time you walked into a Planet Fuckness or LA Fuckness and saw somebody doing overhead presses with 185 for 10, right? Very rare. But those guys are focusing on overall strength. If you want a big bench press, you need to, you need to focus on getting your shoulders as strong as humanly possible, your arms, specifically your triceps as strong as humanly possible. And one thing that's never talked about, never talked about in bench press videos is getting your fucking chest stronger. Let that resonate. How many bench videos do you hear guys talking about getting your chest stronger? It's always about getting your bench stronger, but never about specifically trying to focus on chest strength. Newsflash, there are some exercises, newsflash, there are some exercises that can build chest strength that aren't called the bench press, all right? So get your body, and specifically your upper body, but everything really, as strong as humanly possible. Every, every little bit of strength and every muscle will help move that bench press. The body is a unit. You can't have motherfucking chicken legs and expect to be <laughs> benching 315. It's more the mindset. If you're one of these chicken leg ass motherfuckers that isn't doing any leg work, you're probably just Mr. Front Del uh, and Mr. Weak Ass Lat Pull as well, and you probably got some serious issues with strength in general. All right, number three, your bench press program sucks. That means you're doing a lot of stupid crap that doesn't look like anything that's it doesn't look like any form of a conventional bench press program that somebody that is strong is using. You look at your program, and then you look at a conventional bench program of somebody benching 315 or benching a reasonable amount of weight, and your program doesn't look shit like what they're doing. 
there's this huge gulf in between it because you're just making crap up. And despite having something called the worldwide interwebs, instead of, instead of focusing on something called this box called YouTube, where you can find a ton of free programming information, you, the bench press genius, is making up your own shit. And guess what? It looks pretty darn stupid. It's usually all heavy, all heavy work. Maybe with you doing your your bro is doing some rows for you, you know, helping you with uh with those bro rows to make you feel better, make you feel more manly, right? Um, newsflash, you know, your program heavy's okay, but you also need to get some volume in. All right, number four, you do know bench press variations. You do very few bench press variations. You're just on the bench. Are you attacking the dumbbell bench? Are you attacking the close grip bench? Those two are just an example. But you need a few variations. Having a dumbbell variation in there is probably pretty damn smart. Every big bencher I've ever met is pretty fucking strong with the dumbbell bench as well. So get some dumbbell bench variation in there or get some, get some bench press variations in there. I don't care if it's the floor press, the pin press, the guillotine press. I don't care what it is. Get some different things going on. Try to challenge your chest and your shoulders and your, your tricepticons. Uh, just try to challenge them in general with a, a well-rounded a number of lifts so you can help build up better well-rounded strength. All right. Number five, your eating sucks. Your eating sucks. Unless, now there's going to be somebody, they're going to say like Alpha Destiny, and I know a guy who never gained a pound. I know a guy who started out at 162, and seven years later he's still 162, and he never gained a pound, I assure you, big hairy ugly dude, and he got the 315. Well, you know what? That's amazing. That's amazing. Good job for him, but unless you're a genetic freak like him, you need to fucking pay attention to your food, Okay. Unless you're a genetic freak. And how do you know if you're a genetic freak? If you're not close to benching 315, you've been lifting over three years, you're not a fucking genetic freak. Do we understand? Do we have an understanding? Okay, so if you're not naturally rocketing up towards 315, you're probably not a genetic freak. Therefore, this point, therefore, this point you should pay attention to. Your eating sucks, and unless you're a genetic freak, you need consistent nutrition and consistent weight gain. Two things. Consistent nutrition. It can't be up and down. 2,300 a day, 1,700 tomorrow, 3,000 the next day, what the fuck ever the next day. You don't take nutrition consistently over a long period of time. You're not going to get a 315 pound bench unless you're a genetic freak. And I just told you how to figure out if you're a genetic freak. Same thing with weight gain. But I don't want to weight gain. When You know what? Unless you're a genetic freak, you need slow, steady weight gain. I don't want any fat bulks. I don't want any of this fat-ass Mark Ripito, go mad motherfucker shit where you gain like 40, 50 pounds in like three months. Look, that's like 1980s bullshit, okay? That type of bulking is what gets <laughs> puts everybody in this mindset of fear that if they bulk, they're going to get fat. We'll, we'll, we're well beyond the dinosaur age, and this is going to trigger somebody into the starting strength comment down below, but Gomad did this for me. Great job. You gained 30 to 50 pounds in three months. Great job. <laughs> you're better off with slow, steady, consistent weight gain. If you're the 140, 150, 160 pound guy, Try to gain 20 to 25 pounds over the next three years, right? Slow, steady, have your weight gain consistent, have your effort in the gym consistent. That slow, steady calorie surplus will help you build a bigger bench, okay? And lastly, you're not paying attention, tip number six, you're not paying attention to the details. What do I mean? Well, sometimes people think they're plateauing, okay? Let's say you go in today and you do... 155 by 5 on the bench. And next week you go and do 155 by 5. And the following week you do 155 by 5. And you're like, I got three sessions in a row where my bench isn't moving. I'm going to go jump off 
a bridge. Don't. Okay, what you need to do is not just pay attention or not just count reps, okay? We're more intelligent than just being simple rep counters. What I want you to do is film your videos when possible, especially if you're serious about the bench. Watch the bar speed on your last two reps, okay? So let's say three weeks ago, your bar speed was like that on rep five, and then rep six, it was like, and then almost there, okay? And then the following week on rep six, it was a little bit faster, uh, and then on week, the following week, it was a little bit faster, okay? Bar speed can tell you a lot. You can have a grinder on rep six one week, and then on uh, rep six the next week, it can come real close to lock up. So don't just view progress in the form of um, in the in the form of actual reps completed. We also have to kind of monitor bar speed on that last rep to see are we stronger than last time. That's what I'm talking about with the details. You also need to, as far as details, form improvement. You need to constantly be working on form. And if you don't know what I mean, you're probably a little bit too, a eh, little bit too, eh, nobody home up here to figure out how to use fucking Google and YouTube. What do you mean, work on form improvement? That sounds like a lot of big words, and I don't know what to do with all them big words. What do I do with all them big words called form improvement? Form improvement. You go to fucking YouTube, you go to Google, you find strong ass motherfuckers, okay? Strong ass motherfuckers. Watch all their form videos and try to learn a few things. It's called form improvement. All right, so uh, other details. A solid base and manageable tightness. Okay, so one of the issues we run into from the powerlifting world is that we look, we, we analyze tightness, and we try to set up in powerlifting tightness, right? Okay, but then we go into the gym and we're doing volume, and we're trying to maintain that powerlifting tightness over the course of six, eight, 10 reps. It becomes more challenging. So what you need more for the average work is more of a maintainable tightness, okay? You don't need to be like super tense and try to maintain that super tense, you know, leg base, leg platform for, you know, 45 seconds. You need some good solid tightness. Just push down on the ground, spread your legs a little bit, get a good tight base and have a aim for a manageable tightness and monitor that. That's what I mean about monitoring the details. And we already talked about uh, bar speed, but some of the other details include grip width. So many people come to me and they're actually doing a close grip bench. They're actually doing a close grip bench and they have no clue that their grip is that close. They never experiment with their grip. So it's a good idea to to mess around with a little bit wider grip, monitor things, maybe try one week closer grip, one week wider grip, and kind of get your strength up on both. So, long ass video, but there are six reasons why you'll never bench 315. If there's another reason, or if you think I'm insane, let me know why in the comments section down below. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.